The Governing Council today decided to keep the three key ECB interest rates unchanged. While inflation has dropped in recent months, it is likely to pick up again temporarily in the near term. According to the latest Eurosystem staff projections for the Euro area, inflation is expected to decline gradually over the course of next year before approaching our 2% target in 2025. Overall, staff expects headline inflation to average 5.4% in 23, 2.7% in 24, 2.1% in 25, and 1.9% in 26. Compared with the September staff projections, this amounts to a downward revision for 23 and especially for 24. Underlying inflation has eased further, but domestic price pressures remain elevated, primarily owing to strong growth in unit labor costs. Eurosystem staff expect inflation excluding energy and food to average 5% in 23, 2.7% in 24, 2.3% in 25, and 2.1% in 26. Our past interest rate increases continue to be transmitted forcefully to the economy. Tighter financing conditions are dampening demand, and this is helping to push down inflation. Eurosystem staff expect economic growth to remain subdued in the near term. Beyond that, the economy is expected to recover because of rising real income, as people benefit from falling inflation and growing wages, and improving foreign demand. Eurosystem staff therefore see growth picking up from an average of 0.6% for 23, to 0.8% for 24, and to 1.5% for both 25 and 26. We are determined to ensure that inflation returns to our 2% medium-term target in a timely manner. Based on our current assessment, we consider that the key ECB interest rates are at levels that maintained for a sufficiently long duration will make a substantial contribution to this goal. Our future decisions will ensure that our policy rates will be set at sufficiently restrictive levels for as long as necessary. We will continue to follow a data-dependent approach to determining the appropriate level and duration of restriction. In particular, our interest rate decisions will be based on our assessment of the inflation outlook in light of the incoming economic and financial data, the dynamics of underlying inflation, and the strength of monetary policy transmission. The key ECB interest rates are our primary tool for setting the monetary policy stance. We also decided today to advance the normalization of the Eurosystem's balance sheet. The Governing Council intends to continue to reinvest in full the principal payments from maturing securities purchased under the Pandemic Emergency Purchase Program during the first half of 2024. Over the second half of the year, it intends to reduce the PEP portfolio by 7.5 billion euros per month on average. The Governing Council intends to discontinue reinvestment under the PEP at the end of 2024.